Hello, gorgeous. It's the first ever Broadway revival of Funny Girl since it debuted nearly 60 years ago. The role of Fanny Bryce made famous by Barbara Streisand. Now the part belongs to Beanie Feldstein. Let's send it out to Charlie Cooper. Thanks, Tamsin. Fanny Bryce is a longtime dream role for Beanie. We sat down here at the Skylark to chat all about it. So excited to have you here. I'm so excited to be here. This is the first revival of Funny Girl in 60 years. This is huge. Essentially, you have the titular role. <laughs> Talk to me about how that feels. It feels surreal. I mean, that's really the only way to describe it. It's like something that I've loved my literally my entire life, um, and I've always idolized and, and has always been a part of who I am and and kind of how I grew up and, and all of it. And then, so there's like this childhood side of it where it's like, you know, just my my first love really mm -hmm. was this was this story, but then. As an adult, it's like getting to be in this room with this group of people, with this creative team. It's been a really special experience with them and, and with our company. And we have like nine onstage Broadway debuts, I think 22 people in the building making their Broadway debut. So there's just like, it's a real beautiful energy at yeah. the August Wilson right now. What drew you to that, like just funny girl in general as yeah. a kid? I mean, I was two, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reaching here really for the answer, but I think I think her ambition. I think, you know, Fanny, the character of Fanny Bryce and the and the person that was Fanny Bryce, she was just unrelenting, unapologetic of just like, I know I can do this. Like, get out of my way, give me the opportunity, open the door for me. I can I am a star. I can, you know, I can be this person you don't believe I can be. And I think that's kind of intoxicating even as like a little tiny girl. I was like, oh, that energy of I am you know, in her words, the greatest star. I can do this. I can just let me be myself and kind of never change for anyone else. I think that might have been that might have been it. Talk to me because I know you kind of mentioned or alluded to so many people making their Broadway debuts in the yes. building. What's that energy feel like? And like just being uh, on stage with each other. It's it's the greatest. I mean, we have two girls in the company, Mariah and Masu, who cry. Every, almost every day, and I'm crying along with them because I remember when I was doing Hello Dolly, like, and even even now with Funny Girl, there's not a minute that you take for granted because when we all in this room know when you grow up loving theater, it's this powerful, palpable thing, and at the end of it is Broadway. You just you just dream of this constantly. You've done a lot of different roles that have been incredibly captivating. Book Smart, Hello Dolly. What does this particular role mean to you? You know, I think if there's one sort of maybe through line across different characters, different women I've been lucky enough to play, whether it's in something like Booksmart or playing Monica Lewinsky, like, you know, completely different energies and narratives, I think that I've played a lot of unapologetic women. And I think that is kind of one of my greatest gifts in my career. And Fanny is like the pinnacle. I believe that she as, you know, the real person that was Fanny Bryce, if there's any Jewish woman that gets to be on a stage and perform and be herself and make people laugh and sing, it's because of Fanny Bryce. Bet, Barbara, Sarah Silverman, any of us, like we could just be traced back to Fanny because she just broke through so many glass ceilings and really forced her way into rooms and onto stages that weren't built for her, that she was trying to be kept out of. And so to get to play a woman like that, to honor a woman like that, that is just, it's, you know, remarkable. How do you, make the role your own? Well, as Fanny says, you can only, I mean, when you're a bagel on a plate full of onion rolls, you just, you just are. Like, I just, I, I, um, and you know, there's many types of bagels. Maybe the person who played it before me, the queen, is a sesame, I'm an onion. You know, like, we can all be our own flavor of, of bagel. Um, and maybe Fanny herself was like a pumpernickel or a cinnamon raisin, who knows?